hello guys welcome back to my channel is the cooking wife back on your screen with another video if you're new to this channel you're most definitely welcome please subscribe and turn on your post notification bell if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to watch another video from me thank you guys for 50 subscribers already i am so grateful my heart is full of joy and gratitude Without much wait, I'll be diving right into the video today. So today's video, I'll be making authentic Nigerian Sobo and the authentic Ghanaian Sobolo, which in the English term is known as the sorrel drink. And this drink can be enjoyed with your partner, with your family members. And why not? Why not, guys? We are approaching the Easter festival period so we need something refreshing something that the family can enjoy so i'll be making this sobo today in nigeria we call it sobo and it's very easy and the first thing you will need most definitely is pineapples so i am peeling my pineapples and cutting it into little chunks I am going to blend some of the pineapples and also drop some of the chunks into my sorrel drink. Don't be in a hurry to click off, relax and enjoy the refreshing music and the video. For this sorrel drink, I'm not going to be disposing the back of my pineapples. I'm going to use it because they are so important. And here we have our clove. You need clove. If you want to get that authentic Niger Zobo, you need clove. The next thing you'll be needing is tamarind. And this thing is very, very sweet. It makes your Zobo so tasty and nice. Yes, of course we are making sobo and what is a sorrel drink without cinnamon without lime or lemon or orange or without ginger i think the ginger goes hand in hand with the pineapple so you can keep using ginger lime and your cinnamon the last but not the least thing you'll be needing is your flavors so here i have the coca and the pineapple flavors and these are the flavors i'll be using to boost up the taste of my sobolo aha don't say i forgot to mention the most important thing because i am mentioning it right now you need dried hibiscus flour and this is what gives that reddish rich concentrated sobo or sobo low So like I earlier showed you guys, I already chopped my pineapples. I'm saying pineapples because you saw me chop one, but actually I used two pineapples for this Sobolo drink. Okay, so now I am going to blend some part of the pineapples and also leave some parts which I'm going to dip into the sorrel drink. So now I'm going to blend it alongside with the ginger because this is very, very important. And I'm going to be adding a cup to two cups of water into the blender to aid blending so guys this is my hibiscus and i've washed it to remove dust sand and impurities from the hibiscus flower and here is my blended pineapple and ginger here is the back of the pineapple which i'll be using to cook this sobolo drink please guys bear in mind everything you'll be needing for this sobolo should be washed the only thing i didn't wash is my tamarind which is understandable so now into this big pot because i'm cooking a family size sobolo we are up to 10 in the family <laughs> including family and friends so yes so i'll be adding my dried hibiscus flour into this big pot Oh more the show don't start to yes so now we're adding the back of my pineapples because this is very 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 essential if you're cooking sobolo 
The next thing I'll be adding is my cinnamon back. And this is already washed and patted dry cinnamon because I don't want dirt. I don't want dirty in my zobolo. I don't want that. Cha -cha 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 -cha. So I'm breaking the cinnamon and now I'm going to add my blended pineapple and ginger puree into the pot. We don't have anything to waste here. So I'm going to rinse off the blender and pour the water back into the pot. So now I'm going to be adding my clove. This is very, very important. That This gives it that nice aromatic smell you perceive from Zobo. It is with my belly dye, guys. So after adding that, I'm going to go ahead and add my tamarind. If you are an Igbo, we call this a bancheleku on chichi. But English, they will call it tamarind. No problem, anyone. So I'm going to add my tamarind. English also called this the black velvet tamarind, which is all tamarind. All tamarind, not tamarind. So I'll be adding it into my pots. Now I'll be adding my lime, which happens to be the only citrus I have available. You can also add orange or lemons. It is totally optional. You didn't see me add water, but believe me, I added water to cover the ingredients in the pot. So now I'm going to let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Ah, uh, Zobo don't ready you, but you got to do this one first before you go confirm, say, you don't ready. So now I am squeezing the hibiscus because if you don't squeeze it, you're just going to get a little amount of Zobo. I mean, I'm not taking chances or because I'm feeding 10 to 12 persons in the house. So I'm going to be squeezing the Zobo. Bear in mind that this is very hot. And also I am not selling this Zobo. So I'm doing it with my bare hands. This is very hot. My hands were burning literally. So I am squeezing the Zobo and here we have the squeezed out juice and i'm also going to go ahead and rinse the hibiscus again as you can see it's still rich and concentrated and if i know rinse i'm waiting again while waiting to get that done i'm also going to start mixing the flavors and the orishi rishi 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 all those good stuffs because you need to add it while the zobo is still hot so that it can be able to dissolve very well Never even finish the zobo. See, as everywhere just full up with fragrance. Oh my god, this zobo they sweet me. Hey, who they breed? Who they breed? Guys, I'm going to be using my whisk to turn or to stir the zobo you can use anything you have in your kitchen it's totally optional but i'm using my waist because that is what i seem suitable so i rinsed the hibiscus two times again and i was able to get all the juice and finally my zobolo was ready Be sweeter when Zobo enter love is sweeter. <laughs> oh more guys, finally this Zobo is ready. It is ready to be served, it is ready to be drunk, it is ready for everything. I even added more effizi on top of the Zobo, adding my cucumber. Oh more, this is richer and better than the ones they sell on the road. Hands down, okay. This is better. The one you prepare in your house is better. And this my zobo is concentrated. It be like say man carry two bucket of water dilute them. But guys, this is rich. This is what you call zobo. Homemade zobo is what you call zobo. Yeah. So this zobo is very 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 nice. At the moment I wasn't having light, but definitely I stored some of them in the fridge. And you can guess what. You can guess what oh god this is just within my heart guys this zobo is the tastiest and the nicest i've ever ever had in history because i was not careful with the ingredients or more i went crazy with the ingredients and it turned out really really nice and if i tell you how much i spent the total cost of making the zobo that big pot of zobo that looks like you want to share zobo to your community you will not believe but guys i spent just 1500 naira in everything i used to make this zobo is that not amazing 
Is that not amazing? This is going to serve you and save you that money you're going to use and buy chap man in the in the big restaurant. Mame buka. Mama Chemaka, come over, party don't start. Because this obo is enough for everyone. It will go around for everyone. And you're going to have a jolly, jolly, jolly Easter celebration. Mm. Guys, this, this one is nice. This one turned out so, 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 so nice. And if you want to kill it, serve it with eyes. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below and turn on that notification bell. Try this in your home and share your experiences. Who they breeds?